How you guys doing? How's it going, Coach? Well, great. You guys okay? Uh, I think so. Um, hey, wanted to ask you about uh, a topic on the recruiting side before we talk, uh, I, I guess, more about the current team. I know you can't go into specifics, yeah. but uh, re regarding these kind of upcoming classes and this rule that, you know, basically anyone can come back and keep their eligibility – how has that changed maybe the numbers you guys will look at taking or, or has it kind of changed that recruiting board approach? Well, well, first of all, I think it's the right thing to do. I mean, the NCAA is about student athletes and about helping those young men and giving them the best uh, quality student athlete experience they could possibly have. And so I, don't, I think that's a great rule for those guys. It obviously helps the Jayhawks because um, we don't want to see those guys go. We, we love our seniors and we love those guys. We want them to have the best senior season they could possibly have without interruptions and, and hopefully uh, us as, as a people and as a country and as a nation, we can, we can find a way to, to get through COVID and continue to attack that. But uh, proud of those guys. I think numbers wise, uh, it's not really changing our numbers because of the rules. The NCAA allows us to bring those guys back and give them that, uh, that wavered year. And um, we can continue to add um, our, to our numbers. And so our recruiting class, our, our 2021 class, really we haven't changed our philosophy or, or who we're trying to bring in or the, or the numbers. Will it affect specifically 2022, though? I know some people have said that that class may end up having to be smaller at some places. Well, that's, that's exactly right. That's where you've got to be a little bit smart and look at our numbers because that's when the 85 rule kind of comes back into effect. And so how does our, how's our roster go? Our roster obviously is really, really young. Uh, we're trying to infuse uh, big classes of, of high school student athletes. And Coach Miles has done a phenomenal job of recruiting high caliber young kids to come in here and you can see that on Saturdays because there's a lot of them playing and um, so we're excited about those groups it may affect that group that group may be smaller than usual it won't be the normal 25 I know that um, but it's going to come down to our 85 number and, and where we fit and how many we can put into that class but it will uh, naturally be smaller and then just the last thing for me uh, with what you guys have done in 2021 how close is that to being you know hey the focus is now just keeping uh, guys rather than, hey, going out and adding. Yeah, really, really proud of our recruiting staff, the recruiting department, Dave and Will Redmond do a great job over there in our recruiting department and uh, just just following the lead of Coach Miles and uh, following, he's been a, uh, uh, an awesome stud at recruiting for a long period of time and, and uh, he's doing a great job and and so these assistant coaches are pulling alongside and, and really trying to attack that 21 class when we were really quarantined. And, and really, that's what we put our hands to. And that's how that class grew so big so fast. So we obviously want to hang on to every one of our commitments. We, uh, we love those guys. We've, we've grown to create a great relationship. We can't wait to get that class on campus. We think it's going to be a game changer class for us. Uh, we're really, really excited about those who are in that class. Uh, there's very few pieces uh, to be added. Uh, you may see one, two, three guys here and there to be added to that class. But, man, we are ecstatic about getting the 2021 class on campus just because of the type of people they are, the athletic ability they're going to bring, and what they're going to bring to Lawrence and to the University of Kansas. Hey, Coach, talk about what you guys had to do to adjust how you recruit players since you can't go to them and they can't come to you. <laughs> yeah, this is, it's definitely been a lot different. Uh, I would say that's the number one um, – obstacle that we've all tried to overcome is is not getting those guys on campus man you miss um you miss the official visits you miss going out and seeing the coaches and the student athletes in their high schools and seeing them in their in their natural surroundings and and around their their current teammates and uh that's the, that's the difficult thing but we're all kind of in the same boat uh, uh trying to overcome that obstacle i think that our recruiting department's done a great job i think that our assistant coaches have, have worked extremely hard and uh, of getting those guys on virtual visits and trying to show them everything that uh, we can show them on a, on a on a Zoom call or on a FaceTime and, and just show them the, the unbelievable facilities. When they get on campus, we already know they're going to love Lawrence. They're going to love the University of Kansas. They're going to love the facilities. Uh, I believe our relationships will only grow uh, being in person. I, I think people are relational and they want to they want to see each other and, and, and be around each other. But but uh, through technology, man, we've been able to, to, to really get a lot of FaceTime, a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with our families and with each one of these recruits um, um, through, through technology. But I just think that um, we, we, we have attacked it pretty, pretty good and excited about where we're going um, with that class. Hey, what's, what's been different around the, the offices the past few days just with Les not being there? 
Well, yeah, I mean, you obviously, uh, you obviously miss Coach Miles. I mean, you miss his presence. I will say this. I'll say that, uh, unfortunately, we've gotten, we've gotten used to Zoom and uh, through the quarantine. And so um, him running the show from a Zoom call, is um, he's, he's getting everything done. He's still on top of everything and, and keeping us all in line and making sure we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. But he is, uh, he's rocking and rolling and he's going about his day. He's just doing it virtually over Zoom. And, and, um, and so he's got us uh, lined up and we're all, he's got us all trained up. We know our responsibilities and we're all – uh, digging at those to the best of our ability, and uh, but we do miss him here. We miss him in the in the building. We can't wait to to see him again on game day at West Virginia. How intense was it when you heard about his diagnosis? I mean, you guys probably start racking your brains. When was I around him? How close did we get? I mean, was that a pretty intense moment for everybody? And obviously, you can only speak for yourself. Well, we're getting tested two, three times a week, so. Um, you kind of go through that anxiety all the time. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't matter who it is, right? It just uh, – it, it means more when it's the head football coach, there's no question. And because uh, uh, you, want, you want him in the building and you want, you want him uh, – you want to see him on your day-to-day routine. And uh, we, we miss Coach Miles. But, um, but you, yeah, we get tested. You kind of go through that. So, we get, we get tested. You got like a 20, uh, 24 to 48-hour period. You're waiting to get your results back. And we're all kind of sitting there on pins and needles. And – and I think that um, our university and our athletic department has done a phenomenal job of just setting protocol. Our relationship with KU Med has been phenomenal because they they just got the latest information. And I don't think our, I don't think anywhere in the country has treated their student athletes and been careful and and put um, their health in front of anything else like the University of Kansas and uh, Miss Football Bar. I've been very proud of it. I mean, we've got the unbelievable. Uh, restrictions and what we do and how many people are in the room and everything just like you guys have all read all over the country but I'm really really proud of how um, our, our relationship with KU Med how how um, our athletic department and leadership Jeff Long and and how coach Miles is just really hey this is what we got to do to play this is what we got to do to keep each other healthy and I think that limits a lot of the contact tracing I think it limits a lot of uh, that's why you haven't seen a really huge outbreak on our football team. I think our guys, our hats off to our players, man, they have taken the ownership of their health and of this team's health and put that above what they what they want to do, above above their own needs. And so uh, we're all in this thing together. And um, it's a football team that we're trying to take care of one another and uh, just level one another and, and trying to get all of us to the game as quick as possible. All right. Thank you, guys. Rock y'all. Thank you. Y'all have a great day.